Hi, I'm Dr. Vincent Fortunes. I'm a clinical professor of neurology at USC and author of the Anti-Alzheimer's Prescription and DEAR program to prevent Alzheimer's disease. Some people may say that if you live long enough, you're eventually going to get Alzheimer's disease, but I completely disagree with that. Through my extensive research of the literature, and also my clinical experience for over a thousand patients, I found I could almost predict those individuals who would develop Alzheimer's disease from those who would not. And this is one of the reasons why I wrote the Alzheimer's prescription, because I believe that you can live a youthful, long, and bright life. There are three reasons why I wrote the anti-Alzheimer's prescription. The first is because of the epidemic of Alzheimer's that I have seen. Alzheimer's disease has increased almost 24-fold in those under 65 years of age, despite the fact that our standard of living since 1954 has increased threefold, and we have made huge medical advances. The second, that despite spending $2.6 billion, when it did not increase brain expectancy, by even a single day. In fact, the American Academy of Neurology has said that we have nothing on the horizon. In fact, in the past year, three major trials for drugs that might delay the onset of Alzheimer's have been complete failures. So, the only thing that everyone agrees upon is prevention. And that is why I wrote the anti-Alzheimer's prescription. To accomplish preventing Alzheimer's disease, I created a four-step method called the DEER method. The DEER stands for D for diet, E for exercise, A for accentuating the brain's reserve, and R for rest and relaxation techniques. Now let me go through in a little more detail of what the actual program is all about. The first part of the DEER program consists of a neurological consultation and memory testing. The second part of the program I call the diet or the harmonic diet. The reason why it's called a harmonic diet is because it causes balance between your carbohydrates, your fats, and your protein. It tells you not only what to eat, but also in what order to eat them. The third part is called the exercise program. The exercise program is around a, what I call the Fort Formula. The Fort Formula is very important because it maximizes the amount of work that the muscle does, and at the same time, it minimizes the chance of actual injury to a joint or to a tendon, which is so important for those people who are over 50 years of age. People don't understand that after 50 years of age, every 10 years, joint injuries, ligamentous injuries double. And one of the main reasons why people do not exercise is because they get injured early on or that it's no fun. And the final reason is because they are time deficient. The exercise program is one that you're going to really enjoy. There's both a home program and a gym program. Both of them utilize the maximum amount of activity that'll come from the muscles so that it'll provoke an enzyme that will provoke a growth factor in the brain and increase actual brain growth and also increase lean muscle mass. Many people forget that actually muscle mass uses up three to four times the amount of calories that fat does. Yeah, yeah, it's really the truth. Those people who look good are getting skinny just by standing there. And those people who are overweight are getting heavier just by sitting there. The fourth part of the uh, DEER program consists of five lectures. The first is on neurobics, or accentuating the brain's reserve, helping people understand that the brain is not a fixed bank account. What it really is, is an interest-bearing account. And if you use it in such a manner that you can do things novelly, common things that you would normally do every day, but do it in a novel fashion, one continues to build increased bridges between the cells. So when Alzheimer's disease comes along and knocks out 
a bridge or two, you have others that can take their place. This is essential. We clearly know those people who are very well educated and those people who have a diversity in their education and in their activities resist Alzheimer's disease. The next lecture is on Alzheimer's disease. What are the early symptoms? <laughs> Did I leave my keys? Can I not find a word? Is that Alzheimer's disease? Or is it just anxiety? The third lecture discusses the risk factors and what I call the sentinel risk factors, which are essential for staying on a diet. Many people don't realize is that if you did not get enough sleep, if you do not control stress, you have a diminished amount of serotonin and dopamine. And these transmitters are what give you the executive function, what give you the get up and go, which uh, give you the calmative feeling that you can accomplish anything and also help you to sleep. There's a clear correlation between addiction, carbohydrate craving, and the sentinel risk factors. If they're not taken care of, hypertension, diabetes, obesity will run rampant. Sleeping is extremely important because it is during that time that 80% of the serotonin and dopamine is restored in the body. It is sort of like plugging yourself into the wall. The fourth lecture is on stress. We all have stress, but some people seem to be able to control it and others seem not to be able to. There are certain factors that are necessary in order to deal with stress and to recognize that it's going to be there and to plan for it. And this fourth lecture deals with that and gives you that ability and therefore will increase your dopamine, your serotonin, increase your ability to deal with all the problems in life and give you the vim and vigor and happiness that you need in order to see life as the way it really is. A really wonderful place to be, especially if you have a bright mind. And the fifth lecture concerns support groups. What we'll be doing is forming groups in which people can understand how other people have dealt with certain things in life and support one another. And I'm sure that when you're through with this program, which lasts three months, that you will feel a different person and your outlook on life will be different because you know it's going to be a bright life, a one like Dr. Wells at 101 years of age, as bright as ever, like my mother at 95 years of age, still coping incredibly well. I urge you, pick up a copy of the anti-Alzheimer's prescription. You'll enjoy it. It's written to resonate with your life. It's written to help your life. It'll build a better brain and it'll build a happy future life. There is nothing like dealing with a person who has Alzheimer's disease. I know I've dealt with it with my father. 